Hello, my name is Yevgenia Baranikova. I am an HPLC product coordinator at Shimadzu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will describe how to replace plunger seals on a 40 series Nixera pump. You will need a syringe, an M5 Allen wrench, an 8mm wrench, a 10mm wrench, a seal installer remover, a plunger seal if you have an LC40D pump, or a plunger seal with a backup ring if you have an LC40D X3, XS, or XR pump. Before you begin, place the reservoir with the mobile phase solvent lower than the pump inlet. This will prevent the solvent from flowing out of the suction tube or pump head. If the seal rinsing kit is attached, remove the cap from the rinse solution bottle and remove the rinse solution from the flow line using a syringe with a needle. Then, set the new plunger seal and a backup ring to soak in 2-propanol. They need to soak for about 10 minutes prior to installation. Open the right pump door. Press the tab at the top of the filter holder and lift it out. Remove the panel cover by pressing the projection at the front of the panel and sliding it forward. Now you can begin the procedure by setting the right plunger to the back position using the instrument control panel. Using the keypad and arrow keys, select Function, Control, Plunger Set. Then press 2 and hit Enter. The right plunger should now be retracted as far as possible. To replace left plunger, press 1 and Enter. Now remove the stainless steel SUS tube connecting the check valve outlet to the pressure sensor. Start with the connection on the check valve. Hold the valve with the 10mm wrench and loosen the male nut of the SUS pipe with the 8mm wrench. Then do the same for the connection on the pressure sensor. Once the SUS pipe is loosened, lift up and remove it from the check valve side, then pull to the right to remove it from the pressure sensor side. Loosen the peak fitting of the inlet line by hand and remove it from the inlet check valve. Now you can remove the pump head. Gradually loosen the two hexagonal socket screws using the Allen wrench and gently pull the pump head horizontally along the plunger. Use the threaded side of the seal installer tool to remove the old backup ring and plunger seal. Wipe off the tip of the tool with 2-propanol using a Kim wipe. Insert the tool vertically into the backup ring and push down while turning the tool clockwise. The threads on the tool should grab the backup ring so that you can pull it out. Remove the backup ring from the tool and clean the tip with 2-propanol. Insert the tool vertically into the plunger seal. Turn the tool clockwise until it comes into contact with the pump head. Pull the seal out. Remove the old plunger seal from the tool and clean the tool with 2-propanol and a Kim wipe. Place the pump head in a beaker with 2-propanol and clean for 10 minutes using an ultrasonic bath. Remove the black cap from the seal installer tool and wipe off the white tip and surrounding area with 2-propanol and a Kim wipe. Put a few drops of 2-propanol in the plunger seal hole of the pump head. Remove the new plunger seal from the 2-propanol bath and place it on the white tip of the tool. Make sure to place the larger, flat side of the seal against the tip of the tool. Insert the tool with the seal all the way into the plunger seal hole. Press the seal into place and then slowly pull the tool out. Then wipe the tip again. Take the new backup ring out of the beaker and place it on the white tip of the tool. Make sure to attach the backup ring with the correct orientation. The smaller diameter side should be in contact with the tip of the tool so that the larger diameter side will be in contact with the plunger seal once installed. Insert the tool vertically all the way into the plunger seal and slowly pull the tool out and up. The new backup ring is now installed into the pump head. Once the new plunger seal is installed, use the pump keypad to reset the seal time to zero. Go to VP, then Maintenance. 
select R seal used and press enter. To reattach the pump head, hold it with the letter P at the bottom right, then gently install it horizontally along the plunger. Insert the two hexagonal socket screws and tighten with the M5 Allen wrench, alternating between the left and right screws. Hand tighten the peak fitting of the inlet tube to the inlet check valve. Then connect the stainless steel tubing by inserting one end of the pipe into the hole of the pressure sensor and the other end into the outlet check valve. Press the tubing firmly into each port and tighten by hand until finger tight. Hold the check valve with a 10 mm wrench and tighten the nut of the tubing with the 8 mm wrench. Then tighten the nut at the pressure sensor side. Check the mobile phase flow and ensure there are no leaks at any of the connections. Finish the procedure by reassembling the right pump door. Slide on the panel cover until it clicks into place. Then replace the filter holder. For more information on Shimadzu LC instruments, visit www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.